In this video, I'm going to be reviewing an AI copywriting assistant called Linguist. So I'm gonna head straight over to my screen and just start the demo. But if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them below. I tend to reply within a couple of minutes to a few hours and I'll leave a special discounted link which will take you to the best place you can purchase Linguist. Here we are in the dashboard. It's pretty straightforward. You have your search feature right here. Then you can create folders as well as the documents which is where the writing goes by on the left you have a range of options that we're going to cover shortly so the very first thing is let's go ahead and create a folder so we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it uh, the overall category so let's just uh, say that we're writing things about dog training so i'm going to do dog training and then create now that's been created you can select it we're in the folder go ahead and create a new document and this is where we start uh, filling out and actually writing our text so the document title i'm just going to do how to teach a dog to sit and you've also got a little start helper here so if we select that it can show things like statistics about everything inside the document and then the audience so how you want the AI to cater for your overall text. So I just want it to be general. I want it to share info and let's just keep it calm and then do save. You also have a plagiarism checker at the bottom. It is a credit system, but it will scan your text and it will tell you how much of it is plagiarized. Once you've added some information, naturally it will start populating all the grammar uh, within the document. So for example, this phrase here, it doesn't sit comfortably, so it wants to change it to this. So all you'll do is select it and then it will replace it. On the right you get other options like typos and you can see it's found all the typos and you just select which one you want to change. Change that and then change this. And there you have it. That is the basic editor. So let's go out of this option and head over to secret mode. Secret mode is ultimately the exact same thing as the main editor with a slightly different twist, which is none of the words that you enter here are stored on Linguist's server. In other words, this is completely anonymous, completely private. They don't know what you're writing. I think that's a really nice touch. You don't really want the platforms that you're writing on to know what it is you're writing, just in case they might be a little bit sinister-like. The writing coach is one of the latest features Linguits has offered. Very simply, it's training to improve your grammar, as in it actually helps you improve your grammar skills so you can write better content. And I think that's a massive, massive undertaking of this platform. So if we go into articles and it will tell you telling if a noun is countable, uncountable, let's go ahead and select one. And then it says change the article where necessary. And if we do check, that's great. Press continue and all the way you can change the options, add them in and then do check and it'll tell you give it another try if you get it wrong and it gives further information. When it comes to language, especially the spelling side of it, depending on your geo will actually change the definition. For example, monetization, the US spelling of that is with a Z, but in the UK it's with an S. And these are things that I've constantly struggled with over the years, not because the platform is bad, but because the platform hasn't encountered that people from all over the world might be using this. So what they, they've done here is added a vocabulary dictionary. So the way this works is you would add words to the list. So for example, monetization, and it's not going to try and correct it to either the UK version or the US version. This is correct if you're from the UK, so it's not going to highlight it and basically irritate or trigger your OCD when you're actually writing content. It also gives definitions of words which again is a really nice touch audio version you can actually click the button and it will read it out under statistics it will tell you how much you've been writing and how many documents you've created and any alerts that's uh, gone on within the platform it will you can change this between weekly and monthly now linguits also has a few add-ons such as the browser extension mobile keywords and desktop app in this video, due to the limitations, I'm going to go ahead and show you the browser extension and the desktop app. 
here we are in the desktop app. It's virtually the same thing as the website, but in an app format and everything syncs live. They also have a dictionary menu. So if you select there, and this is exactly what I was talking about, which is you add words that won't be misspelled across the border. So let's go ahead and go back into documents, click on new, and we're just going to type in test. Now we're going to come out of it. That's been saved. Go back to the website. And now we've got that document actually on the website. So it basically saves in real time and it's got all the text where you can edit. So hello, how are you? Okay, save that. Go back into the app, open it up and there it is. Now inside the website, you can also do something called shortcuts. And the way shortcuts work is you can create abbreviations or special characters, which will actually populate a full sentence or some whatever you assign it to for so for example if i do um dog training for example and then in the shortcut i just do dgt dog training guide okay and the actual shortcut text would be dog training guide so i'm going to go ahead and do save now that's been added i can actually go to my emails create new message right here you can see i've already got the app installed and when you hover over the app we have three icons so we've got the edit and helper we've got the type faster with shortcuts and we've got the power phrasing tool so if we go ahead and do our shortcut uh, we do slash slash and now you can see we've got all of these shortcuts here so i'm just going to continue typing and boom it added it just like that that is a really nifty feature once again we can click on the paraphraser tool and then we can start adding more text in and we can even send this to linguists create copy and then improve the grammar etc finally if you are a company or you know you're just kind of sick and tired of things um, you can actually add approved or banned terms, which is also called the style guide, where it will automatically adjust in your client's web browser or anything on those lines to what you need. So for example, if the original text is euros, replace it with the euro sign. Or if we type in, if we type in something like uh, pounds, and then we do approve term, which is uh, the pound sign add. Now this will be automatically changed to pounds. The final feature of Linguits is the templates section where they've done pre-made templates for you to start using. So for example, let's just go with the social template, click on view category. Uh, let's say you want to do a simple blog post, click on customize, and it's now added the dynamic fields. And if we just do preview, you can see this is what it's done and you simply change the information and then go wild. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.